This is Mika Seppälä. Hello everybody. In this set of solved problems, I will consider integration by substitution. I will consider trigonometric substitutions, hyperbolic substitutions and certain root substitutions that can be used to compute rather complicated integrals. The substitution rule for integration comes from the chain rule for differentiation and it says that integral of f at g of x times g prime of x dx equals integral of f of u du where we have substituted u equals g of x du equals g prime of x dx. The aim in substitution is to find a substitution such that the resulting integral f u du is simpler than the original one. Finding substitutions that work is not always easy. In this set of solved problems, we consider the integration of a square root of 1 plus 4 times x minus 4 times x squared. Secondly, the integral of a square root of 2 minus 6 times x plus 9 times x squared dx. And the last problem is to integrate dx divided by x plus square root of x. When computing integrals of expressions with a square root of a quadratic expression, the first thing to do is always to complete the expression under the square root to a perfect square. So we observe that 1 plus 4 times x minus 4 times x squared equals 2 minus, and then in parenthesis, 4 times x squared minus 4 times x plus 1. That is 2 minus 2 times x minus 1 squared. Therefore, integral of square root of 1 plus 4 times x minus 4 times x squared dx is the same as integral of square root of 2 minus 2 times x minus 1 squared dx. Now, this is already a simplification. We still have a problem with the term 2 under the square root, the first 2. So, we write the expression 2 minus 2 times x minus 1 squared as 2 times 1 minus 2 times x minus 1 divided by square root of 2, and that's squared. When we do that, we can take this 2 as a common factor outside of integration and there we get square root of 2 times integral of square root of 1 minus 2 times x minus 1 divided by square root of 2 and that squared dx. This rewriting was necessary to find the substitution that works. Namely, next we substitute that 2 times x minus 1 divided by square root of 2 equals sine of u. Then x equals square root of 2 times sine of u plus 1 divided by 2. And dx equals square root of 2 times cosine of u divided by 2 du. Now we plug this in to this original integral and we get that integral of square root of 1 plus 4 times x minus 4 times x squared dx equals square root of 2 times integral of 1 minus sine squared of u times square root of 2 times cosine of u divided by 2 du. And here the various 2's cancel out and this is simply integral cosine squared of u du because square root of 1 minus sine squared is cosine. So the substitution 2 times x minus 1 divided by square root of 2 equals sine of u has led to that integral of square root of 1 plus 4 times x minus 4 times x squared dx equals integral of cosine squared u du. To compute this last integral, we use the double angle formula for cosine. Cosine squared of u equals cosine of 2 times u plus 1 divided by 2. Therefore, integral of cosine squared of u du equals integral of cosine 2 times u plus 1 divided by 2 du. And that equals 
sine of 2 times u divided by 4 plus u divided by 2 plus the constant of integration. Now sine of 2 times u is 2 times sine of u cosine of u so sine of 2 times u divided by 4 is sine of u times cosine of u divided by 2 and the answer is sine of u times cosine of u divided by 2 plus u divided by 2 plus the constant of integration. We still have to substitute back to the original variable to get the final answer. So to compute the integral of a square root of 1 plus 4 times x minus 4 times x squared dx, we substituted 2 times x minus 1 divided by square root of 2 equals sine of u. And that substitution led to that integral of square root of 1 plus 4 times x minus 4 times x squared dx equals sine of u times cosine of u divided by 2 plus u divided by 2 plus the constant of integration. Next, substitute back to the original variable. Observe first that cosine of u is square root of 1 minus sine squared of u. And now sine of u is 2 times x minus 1 divided by square root of 2. Therefore, cosine of u is square root of 1 minus 2 times x minus 1 divided by square root of 2, and that's squared. And this simplifies to 1 divided by square root of 2 times square root of 2 minus 2 times x minus 1 squared. And expand the product under the square root to get 1 divided by square root of 2 times square root of 1 plus 4 times x minus 4 times x squared. And now substitute this back uh, to the answer that we already got to get that integral of square root of 1 plus 4 times x minus 4 times x, x squared dx equals 1 fourth of 2 times x minus 1 times square root of 1 plus 4 times x minus 4 times x squared plus 1 half of arc sine of 2 times x minus 1 divided by square root of 2 plus the constant of integration. To compute the integral of square root of 2 minus 6 times x plus 9 times x squared dx, we first complete the expression under the square root to a perfect square. So we observe that 2 minus 6 times x plus 9 times x squared is the same as 1 plus, and then in parenthesis, 9 times x squared minus 6 times x plus 1. Now 9 times x squared minus 6 times x plus 1 is 3 times x minus 1 squared. So the expression under the square root in the integrand is 1 plus 3 times x minus 1 squared. Hence the integral of square root of 2 minus uh, 6 times x plus 9 times x squared dx equals integral of square root of 1 plus 3 times x minus 1 squared dx. Now we substitute 3 times x minus 1 equals hyperbolic sine of u. Then x equals hyperbolic sine of u plus 1 divided by 3 and dx equals hyperbolic cosine of u divided by 3 du. And we plug these substitutions in to the original integral. We get that integral of square root of 2 minus 6 times x plus 9 times x squared dx equals integral of square root of 1 plus hyperbolic sine squared of u times hyperbolic cosine of u divided by 3 du. Now, square root of 1 plus hyperbolic sine squared of u is simply square root of hyperbolic cosine squared. So square root of hyperbolic cosine squared is just hyperbolic cosine. So we have in the integrand hyperbolic cosine times hyperbolic cosine divided by 3. That is hyperbolic cosine squared u du. So the integral that we have to compute is now one third times integral of hyperbolic cosine squared of u du. So to compute the integral of square root of 2 minus 6 times x plus 9 times x squared dx, we have used the substitution 3 times x minus 1 equals hyperbolic sine of u, and that yield, yields that the integral to be computed is one third of integral of hyperbolic cosine squared of u du. 
To compute this last integral, we use the double angle formula for the hyperbolic cosine. Hyperbolic cosine squared u du is simply hyperbolic cosine 2 times u plus 1 divided by 2. So the integral of hyperbolic cosine squared u du is integral of hyperbolic cosine at 2 times u plus 1 divided by 2 du. And this can readily be computed. We get hyperbolic sine at 2 times u divided by 4 plus u divided by 2 plus constant of integration. Hyperbolic sine at 2 times u is 2 times hyperbolic sine at u times hyperbolic cosine at u. Therefore, hyperbolic uh, sine at 2 times u divided by 4 is hyperbolic sine at u times hyperbolic cosine at u divided by 2. And then in the answer we still have plus u divided by 2 plus constant of integration. Now we have to substitute back to the original variable to get the final answer. So we computed by the substitution 3 times x minus 1 equals hyperbolic sine of u, that integral of square root of 2 minus 6 times x plus 9 times x squared dx equals one third of integral of hyperbolic cosine squared u du. And then this becomes hyperbolic sine of u times hyperbolic cosine of u divided by 6 plus u divided by 6 plus the constant of integration. So now to substitute back to the original variable, observe that hyperbolic cosine of u equals square root of 1 plus hyperbolic sine squared of u. Hyperbolic sine is 3 times x minus 1. Therefore, hyperbolic cosine of u is square root of 1 plus 3 times x minus 1 squared. That is square root of 2 minus 6 times x plus 9 times x squared. And now we plug these quantities into the answer that we obtained, and we get that integral of square root of 2 minus 6 times x plus 9 times x squared dx equals 3 times x minus 1 times square root of 2 minus 6 times x plus 9 times x squared and this product divided by two, 6 plus hyperbolic arc sine of 3 times x minus 1 divided by 6 plus the constant of integration. To compute the integral of dx divided by x plus square root of x we substitute u equals square root of x, then x equals u squared, and dx equals 2 times u du. And we get that integral of dx divided by x plus square root of x equals integral of 2 times u du divided by u squared plus u. u cancels out, and 2 can be taken outside of integration, so this is simply 2 times integral of du divided by u plus 1. Hence, integral of dx divided by x plus square root of x is 2 times integral of du divided by u plus 1. And this is 2 times natural logarithm of absolute value of u plus 1 plus constant of integration. Substitute back to the original variable, you get uh, 2 times natural logarithm of the absolute value of square root of x plus 1 plus constant of integration. And this is also the final answer. Integral of dx divided by x plus square root of x equals 2 times natural logarithm of absolute value of square root of x plus 1 plus the constant of integration.